Hello God's beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for updates on my upcoming videos. Thank you. I hope you all are divinely blessed by the way. So I will be reading Psalm 144 verse 4. That's 144 verse 4 and it reads thus. Man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. Man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. Glory to God. Father, I come before you now. I pray that, Father, you take this medium into your own two hands, that you will consecrate, mighty God. Sanctify me right now, God Almighty. Cover me, Lord, from the crown of my head to the very sole of my feet. Lord God, let me be selfless, God, that all glory and all honor will be given unto you and you alone. Father, I thank you and I bless your name now. Let the ears and your hearts of your people, mighty God, and your eyes be keen and attentive, Lord, as you use me, just another one of your vessel, to bring forth your work and your word to your people. I bless your name now. I give you praise and I give you thanks, O Father, as I say. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O God, as you taught us all to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Bless the Lord. And for those who are just joining in, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Bless you. So my theme for tonight is live to leave a legacy behind. Live to leave a legacy behind. And in the Oxford Living Dictionaries, legacy is defined as something left or handed down by a predecessor. Something left or handed down by a predecessor. Bless the Lord. So when I say live to leave a legacy behind, I do not mean monetary legacies, not collaterals which we have on earth like cars, money, houses, lands, and therefore all those kind of material legacies. No. Live a rich life, a God-fearing life to hand down a rich and favorable legacy to your children, most importantly, for those who are mothers, fathers, and for those who are not yet parents. Maybe you are not biological parents, but you are spiritual mothers and fathers to lots of us in the churches, even ministering to others in, in, in acts of love on the street, just a stranger, for example, live to leave a rich legacy behind, a legacy that is filled with divine favor, grace and mercy from the Almighty God, where you toil long and hard in prayer and Continue to pray to God and to bring everything to him in prayer and supplication. Bless your name, God. I pray that you will live to leave a legacy that is a legacy that is handed down to descendants, to the generations that will come after you, that they will be blessed, richly blessed with the grace that God has laid upon you, upon your heart, to worship him, to praise him, and most of all, to serve him in spirit and in truth. Most importantly also, live to live a legacy of light, because as the scripture tells us a light or a candle when it is lit cannot be hidden so therefore it is placed on a candlestick and it is dear on the hill for all to see the light that shines from it so as you live your life in front of everyone else in the open in the surface or in the environment where everyone can see your smile or see your feedback that is 
positive or brings forth a great energy live to live that life behind closed door also because as someone once says you never know whose eyes god is watching you out of so be prepared be aware be alert and be keen in your doings and in the legacy that you set aside live every day like it's your last because while we know that death is appointed to all man none of us can escape it because as you read in genesis adam and eve the first the first adam and Eve sinned against Almighty God. They committed the great sin of disobedience and therefore as a result of this, a man, a woman, none of us as God's creation can live forever on this earth as God has planned. That's why because of sin, death is appointed to each and every one of us. While we never know the minute, the second or the hour, we are here today. And yes, we know we can be gone tomorrow, but we live a life filled with hope filled with so much plans and the different perspective we put on our lives and each other's lives and the plans that we have are set out to achieve. We can only hope, but let us live a life starting now, a life that is rich, a life that is pure, a life filled with gratefulness and Christ-given gratifications that they will be left with your children, with your parents, with each and every one that you have blessed with your existence on this God-given earth. So use your God-given abilities to seek how you may serve God's people. Because believe it or like it or not, we are here to serve God's people and to live a life that is pleasing unto God. Remember, we have no control over death. As the scripture says, I emphasize on it again, Psalm 144 verse 4, man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. So therefore, mankind, you can describe us as a rose, yet when we get a rose or a bunch of roses are bought or we just receive them into our care or our possession, they are bright, beautiful and colorful and for those of us example such as myself who live in a country which experiences the four different seasons especially winter you will find that flowers your garden it is no longer blooming and beautiful it withers and it dries up to to um it dries up is as a result because the winter, the cold, the snow, the, 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 the flowers are like humans in the spiritual realm. They're not able to withstand the weather, the icy weather and the coldness. So therefore, the flowers will soon die. But once it comes warm again, the flowers come back. But with man, we can say man are like the roses in the garden. They look blooming, they are beautiful, they are blossoming. But there is, there is going to become a time when the rose is of no more. The rose has withered and it has died. So therefore, I am imploring unto you, live to live a life filled with rich legacy, not a legacy handed down to your future generation or unto your children, your family and those who you have blessed on earth, not the monetary legacies, not the material possessions that you own, that you wish to hand over to someone if and when your time comes, because you may not know when this time is coming, but as I know, and you ought to know too, death is appointed unto all, to every man, to every one. While when you go down into that hole, that grave, and in the, you are covered up, you are your family says goodbye. There's nothing you can take with you, but you're the only thing. And even if sometimes some people, some cultures, some cultures 
excuse me, some cultures, some traditions have this tendency to bury their loved ones or to lay their loved ones to rest with some of their most loved belongings, such as maybe if they're a lover of scarves, a lover of jewelries, they will play some of these as a reminder of who the person was. I saw this guy once that was buried and he was buried in a sunglass because he loved sunglasses. And these are ways in which loved ones tend to honor their dead loved ones by giving them or passing on to them a gift that they have loved or something that they love to do and in respect of that dead person. But you cannot take that anywhere. You don't, the dead person does not know because the body is lifeless. There's no more life in that person. So therefore, they don't know what is happening or what is going on around them. So that's what I'm saying. Live to leave a legacy. Pass something positive down. Live a life that is pleasing unto God. A life that is rich and successful in Almighty God. Get to know Him. Build a relationship with Him. Find Him. Pray and allow Him to find you. And continue to pray to Him. And to continue to pray without ceasing. And to take everything to Him in prayer and supplication. I bless you. Think on these things and live a life of legacy. Live to leave a legacy behind. I bless you. I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I pray that the Lord continue to bless you. Goodbye.